pillow thing. We had the actual actor, Victor, on set at all times. Actual filming process was um, it's just like working with another actor. You're um, reacting and he's speaking, he's signing. Thing is a classic character in the Adams Family canon. The first phone call I had with, with Tim, uh, he wanted the thing to be derived from an actor, a performer. So we set out to find us an actor who could do the part. Somebody who had the right look to the hands, who had nimble fingers, was able to do all of these moves. Also, they had to be, you know, young enough and supple enough to fit in very awkward situations. Victor is a magician by trade. That's what he does. That's how he makes his living. He's never been an actor. So we brought him in and we started doing rehearsals with him to see what he could do and to show him what worked with a walk and what didn't work with a walk. And that first scene he kind of really nailed. It's pretty hard to create from start to end. Even the way he talks, it's pretty hard to find movements that can express feelings. Not above breaking a few fingers. For example, in love or angry. Everything is pretty hard when you do it with a real actor. Yes, and serial killers. With Jenna, she accepted it really quickly that she's talking to a hand. I know I'm stubborn, single-minded, and obsessive. It honestly wasn't difficult at all. It was more so difficult where if, if I had to interact with him and I had to pretend he was there and hold nothing. Did you really think my highly trained olfactory sense wouldn't pick up on the faint whiff of neroli and bergamot in your favorite hand lotion? I could do this all day. On set, you have to prepare with the VFX guys. They have to see what angle do they use. How is thing uh, positioning? Find ways to hide the thing, for example, under a bed. Hey, I can't fit under a bed. Let's make a hole in the floor. Hey, I can't fit under the floor. Let's raise the whole building in the air, so put him under the floor. We would need to do CG thing as well, but only when pretty much everything else failed. I think the tedious part about it was they had to use a ball and chart for special effects, so every single setup we did, someone would have to come in with a gray ball, silver ball, chip chart with all these colors, and that is when we would kind of slow down in our days a bit. I'm going to see Galpin, I'm not stopping. Well, you've got a, a hand on set and he's, he's acting, and normally you, when you talk about a paint out and visual effects, oh yeah, paint out, it's easy. But we're, we're like painting out 90% of the human being that's dominating the shot and keeping the 10% that's the hand. It's actually very hard to do. It's slow for the crew, because they have to light it in such a way that Victor's not casting shadows. And, you know, so there's, there's a lot that goes into doing it. This isn't weird at all. The VFX guys, me, we all tried to, to make a teamwork for a thing. And what ended up looking like, it's, it's awesome.